Welcome to a Saturday day in my life you guys. I'm taking you along for the full day today because we're leaving for Vegas tomorrow and I thought I'd bring you along my prep because I've got so much to do and it's lots of fun stuff like packing, filming, styling outfits, stuff like that. So Hunter and I are off to get some coffee and run a few errands. I'm wearing this super comfy outfit. These jeans are from Nasty Gal. They were in my Nasty Gal haul. They're super 90s and like baggy wide leg. They're so cute. I love them. I'll link them below. Also have Nasty Gal shoes on. These are kind of like a white platform chunky sneaker. And then this little cropped hoodie from Zara and my Louis bag. So Let's go get some coffee, start off the day right. Oh wow, let's go. Bye, I love you. Hey people, we just got to Starbucks. We were on our way here, literally talking about what we wanted for coffee. If we wanted Starbucks, if we wanted our place called The Nest, which gives us the Winnie the Pooh coffees, which are really, really good. But that's more of a treat. That would be lovely, but we know ain't got we're, time for that We're in today. a hurry today. Mm -hmm. We're leaving for Vegas tomorrow. Go time! So we gotta do some stuff around the house. We gotta run to Home Depot after this. Um, Julia loves Home Depot so much. I have to like beg her to get out of there sometimes. <laughs> Just can't peel me out of Home Depot. Yeah, sometimes like, I, it's hard to get her inside, but once she's inside, <laughs> it's really hard to get her out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I do need some safety pins. But we gotta go to Home Depot, grab a couple things, uh, mainly for the backyard, which we're actually gonna renovate pretty soon. That's gonna be yes. a fun project. We're so gonna excited take, about We're gonna do like a full like complete customization, fire pit, renovation. Excited for so it. So good, you guys. Yeah. Gonna hang out out there? I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I know it's gonna take a lot of time. Yeah. And I know we have to be here an extended period of time to be able to do it. Hunter is in Home Depot, and we got our coffees. I got a grande iced coffee just with cream i'm trying to lay off the sugar so i didn't get any vanilla or anything in it and i'm really hungry this morning so i wanted to try these from starbucks i've heard a lot of people say that they're really good they are the starbucks bagel bites and i already took a bite out because it's so good they're delicious they like our bagel with cream cheese in the center. So, sorry, I have this crater on my face currently. Trying to take care of that, just let it breathe. Um, I saved one of my bagel bites because Hunter and I are in a bit of an argument, actually. And I don't really, do you know when you like, for those of you who are, have a boyfriend or you're married, you sometimes like get in an argument about the stupidest thing and you're in the middle of the argument and you're like how did I get here I would just do anything for this to just like not be happening right now so um, I don't even honestly couldn't even tell you where it began it was like something stupid so I think I might go find him in Home Depot and try and say sorry give him the bagel bite let's <laughs> see if that will be a good uh, apology I think I think it's my fault I think I was the one being kind of a brat so I need to go say sorry um, which is sometimes really hard to do because it just feels I'm like really weird about when I get in arguments I get really awkward like I I don't know why I like crawl in my shell for some reason it's just I don't know where it comes from it's usually like typically like the way that you're brought up or whatever but that's like my style of fighting I just like crawl in like a turtle shell and I like get quiet so um Anyways, he is inside, so let me go see if I can get him to forgive me with this bagel bite. I want you to know if I'm successful. <laughs> I brought you something. It's so good. It's my forgiveness present. What, your leftovers? No, I saved one for you. I wanted to mow that down. It's so good. What's inside? Cream cheese. Oh, <gasps> you don't like it? It's so good. Well, I was trying to say I'm sorry. I am home now, and next on the agenda, I need to film part of a video. So I showed you guys a little preview on my Instagram, but I actually, actually, ugh, cannot speak. 
recently filmed a video at Walmart. It was kind of like a fashion on a budget type of video and I recreated some of Bella Hadid's outfits and basically did like a whole Bella Hadid style video. So that is coming soon, but I have to film the other half of it today. I need to do my makeup and my hair Bella style for this video. So I'm gonna put some makeup on. My skin is terrible ever since I got back from Coachella. Uh, my skin has just been a wreck. I think it was just all the travel and the like lack of sleep and crappy food that I ate. So trying to get back on a system, but now I'm just turning back around and going to Vegas. So that should be great. Uh, anyways, I'm just kind of filling in my pores with the Sephora collection um, pore stick. She, like Bella, wears pretty natural makeup. So I'm gonna try and keep it kind of light and glowy. She obviously has just like perfect skin, so she doesn't have to try very hard. I think because of that, I'm gonna do it CC, the It Cosmetics CC Cream mixed with a little bit of my Dior Backstage Foundation just because the color is tan. And Sephora Collection number 56 uh, airbrush. Next is concealer. You guys already know my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer is my favorite. Very full coverage, but nice and hydrating and like moisturizing, which I love. I'm gonna go a little lighter on the concealer today because again, Bella is more on the natural side and I'm just gonna brush that out with my Sephora Collection Pro Airbrush 57. And I always like to add a little pop of a really, really light concealer just for a little bit of brightness right here. And I just kind of bounce it in that area with the Beauty Blender. And it really brightens the under eye area if you can see that. I don't want to bake because baking I feel like tends to look a little like too done and Bella is very natural. So we'll just do like a little light sweep of powder. Actually, I'm gonna do a little setting spray right now. This is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the, the Nude Sticks in Bondi Bay. It's a cream bronzer stick. Oh boy. Connor doing some yard work. I'm gonna take it on a brush actually. Same brush I used for my foundation. I'm gonna do a little cream highlighter. Sorry, Hunter is whacking weeds in the backyard. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I love this stuff. Favorite cream highlighter ever. And I just kind of blend it around on my hand to like spread it out. And then I take my beauty blender and then I just bounce it on. See? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I think for blush, I'm actually gonna take my Dior Glow Palette and just kind of mix the pink and bronzy shade together. And lightly sweep it over the cheeks. For eyes, I think I'm gonna try and take some of this cream bronzer and actually put it in my crease. All right, and then let's take the brown shade from the Dior Palette and kind of go over that, so. Favorite mascara is Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Put a coat of that. Okay, so for lips, I'm just gonna wipe off any foundation that might be on my lips. And Bella tends to do a little bit of a warmer color, so I'm gonna go in with MAC Strip Down Liner and Laura Mercier Opal Lip Gloss, and I think it'll be perfect. Actually kind of digging the matte lip. It looks super 90s, which I feel like is very Bella. So I might keep it like this. And then let's go do hair. That's gonna be the fun part. Okay, so Bella typically wears, I've been seeing her wear this like side part lately that is very like early 2000s, kind of 90s. And it's like a side part, I'll put a picture here on the screen, but it's like a side part in the front and then it goes back into like a claw clip, which is like so 90s. So, I feel like I'm gonna go for it. Uh, my hair is a little greasy, which actually probably works to my advantage, but I do wanna put a little bit of dry shampoo in it before I start, just so that it doesn't look super thin. This is the way I dry shampoo.
I am on second day hair right now and I have super fine thin hair so it really can't go that long without getting super greasy. Next thing I'm going to need is some extensions. I'm going to add these in for volume or else I will literally have the smallest button because my hair is super fine and thin and I want to kind of clip it up like this, like how she usually has it. So I'm going to add a few wefts. The extensions that I use are from The Hair Shop. They have so many colors. Uh, I love their extensions so much and I wear these usually on an everyday basis just to add a little bit of fullness for my hair. So I'm going to put some in the back but let me just get my part in order so first i'm gonna do kind of a deep side part i feel like she almost like has it parted like here i'm gonna put that all back in the clip really quickly actually i'm gonna take some of the way finishing cream this is really good for like slick bella hadid buns for sure Take a little bit and rub it in my hands and kind of slick it down. And I want to use like one of these brushes so I can like really get it down. She has it like behind her ear. Slicked. Okay, I'm also going to do a little hairspray. Bumble and Bumble Stronghold Hairspray. And then the back, I feel like, isn't as slicked. It's kind of like more textured, so it's good we put the dry shampoo in there. I'm gonna clip in my extensions really quick, so. I've clipped in the extensions and I've just really smoothed this out with this brush. I feel like this is key, is like the brush with the small bristles to kind of get it slicked and I think I'm gonna put like a ponytail in it first. I take the hair tie out and we're gonna twist it and hers is like a bun at the top kind of like that. There we go that's more like it. I think I like that it looked a way better on her but you know we'll go with it. Okay, so I've got to get to filming this video and I will show you guys a little peek of uh, some of the outfits because I freaking found some good stuff at Walmart. Ooh, I'm loving this look, you guys. So 90s, I can't even believe it. Here's the hair. Hopefully you can see it from this side. Kind of digging it, it's so fun and different. Okay, let's go. Oh, hey buddy. Hey little guy. Hi, Bubba. Here's a little sneak preview of the video. And actually, fun fact, um, I really wanted cycling shorts, but I couldn't find like traditional cycling shorts at Walmart. So I went to the like more undergarment section. And these are actually like shaper shorts, like for women. And what I like about them though is they're so flattering and they're thick enough where you can't even tell. They honestly just look like cycling shorts and they're like three dollars and they come in all the colors they're amazing and they're more flattering than cycling shorts because sometimes cycling shorts are like kind of unforgiving so these ones since they're shaper shorts they're also flattering and they can just be worn as cycling shorts so so cute this is kind of a sneak peek of one of the looks but stay tuned so bella i love it also Drinking a LaCroix. What is your guys' favorite flavor of LaCroix? Comment below. I know everyone loves it. Mine is tangerine. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. I just finished filming the video and taking a little break. Hunter is making us some green juice um, because we're trying to be healthy and. Yeah, so we'll show you guys what we're putting in the juice. It, well, it's already been made, but. Um, so far I've done a head of celery. Celery. Um, one, like one whole batch of celery, one batch of kale, mm -hmm. a zucchini. Yeah, one zucchini. And I'm about to do a cucumber, an apple, and some ginger. ginger. And I also did uh, half an orange. Nice. Yummy. Did you um, use the white shampoo and conditioner? I did. The clean Please one? Smell it. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. Is it the clean? I've washed my hair. This is my first time to wash my hair in three weeks. 
Yeah, Hunter doesn't really wash his hair that often because it kind of messes up the texture and as a guy, he just wants it kind of like rough rough and undone. So he doesn't wash it as often as me, but yeah. he used, we just tried out the new clean shampoo from The Way. So good. And it's I really like it. I'm like kind of picky with what I use now. I I've know. tested so many like. I know. Yeah, Do you want some of the wave spray? Um, or leaving conditioner for your ends? Health. Side tip for egregious. Always clean up when you're done, right when you're done. Clean up the juice, all the pulp, otherwise it'll yeah. the smell. Mm -hmm. And we usually just throw it in a paper bag and use it for compost. So it's a good way to do it. Yeah, good job on the juice. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking, I'm kind of like, I don't know, counteracting everything because I'm drinking a juice alongside of a margarita. A margarita. <laughs> Irenia's finest. Cheers. Do you want me to braid it? Sure. I did kind of want to braid it. I was, well, I was wanting you to put in um, a mask. Mm. I put up a poll. Have you seen this poll thing? How you can use this on Instagram? You can do like quizzes. You haven't seen that yet? Well, I put up, can you guess the celebrity that I'm recreating? And everyone's guessing Hailey Bieber. Some, most, a lot of them Bella, but mostly Hailey. What happens if they click it? Do they get, do they find out instantly who it is? Yeah, it says it says wrong, and it highlights the one. Okay, we're gonna use the way leave-in conditioner on Hunter's ends. So they get really dry. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna put a hair in a hair. We're gonna put a mask in Hunter's hair. And I recently just got this uh, one from Verb. It's their new ghost hair mask. So it's kind of like more on the weightless side, which is nice, so it won't weigh down the hair. Allow mask to sit on hair for five to seven minutes and then rinse, so, hmm. Are you gonna wanna rinse it? Should you rinse it, you just wanna let it kind of absorb? I just wanted to like sit for a long time. I'm, just, I'm gonna put it in a braid and just let it sit. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna cut it or not. I know I keep saying I'm gonna cut it, but like, I do need to cut my ends are starting to split a little bit. I need a trim, but I'm trying to figure out if I want to like cut it shorter like this or keep it like kind of long like this. So I don't know. I want to give it a chance to like get a little bit healthier for a second, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm buying some paint brushes for us so we can paint the other room. Oh, nice. Oh, we it's more tangled than I thought. We got a pack for Vegas. It's coming up next. To leave. Already Come that I'm done filming, I have got to clean this office because I have an explosion of clothes. It's just, I'm so embarrassed, I can't even show you. Okay, uh, by the way, I'll probably get questions about this shirt. It's from Walmart, long sleeve, just basic tee. So I'm gonna do a little cleaning session right now and I'll be back to start packing and planning outfits for Vegas. I will plan some outfits with you guys and show you how I pack my suitcase and all that stuff. About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. from House of CB. I ordered a really fun outfit for Vegas from there. I don't know if it's gonna fit or if I'm gonna end up returning it or wearing it, but um, I just thought it was like really cool. They came out with like a 90s collection and they're like such a Vegas type of brand that I thought I'd just go for it and get something really fun. 
here is the top. It's basically like this metallic pink gold top and it also has a matching skirt. You have to order them separately, but this is the skirt. It's like ruched and you wear them together. So I'm gonna try them on later, but I'm gonna hang them up in my Vegas section on my clothing rack and pull like all of the things that I want. So. So this is honestly, I've talked about this before, but it's like my favorite thing to do before trips is to plan out every single one of my looks so that I don't overpack. And it's actually a really good idea for everybody to do because I mean, let's face it, these days everybody is taking Instagram photos. You're always, you know, photographing things on your trips and vacations usually. So why not just plan, plan out all of your looks ahead of time? You can try them on in the mirror. You can literally style them with different accessories and you have all of your stuff. And you can really make sure that you love the entire look that you like think it's gonna look cute in photos and everything and that way, when you've made all of the outfits, you have the exact amount of items. You don't have to worry about stressing on vacation about what you're gonna wear and it's all ready to go for you. It literally solves all of your, all of your problems. So I love that. So these are some of the things that I'm probably going to be styling for Vegas. Not these ones, these were from earlier, but I'm just starting to pull the pieces that I've kind of been ordering for Vegas. So some things like with beads and stuff and even like airport outfit stuff I am pulling over here. So I'm gonna go through and pull all of the items that I think I might wear that I kind of wanna style from and then we'll get to style look. Oh, take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. got a healthy amount of things to pull from so these are kind of all of my Vegas items and my next step is I have like a lot of basics and stuff too so these are just like the hero pieces so pretty much oh my god what, what are you doing I'm styling my outfits for why Vegas are you wearing my shirt because I'm cold hey will you help pack the dog food for um dog daycare Next, I, in my planning process for packing, I go on my computer and on my phone. And usually I've been like pinning or saving outfits that I like or that I'm inspired by uh, on Pinterest and on Instagram. So actually for this trip, I'm making a Pinterest board. So I'm gonna go kind of get an idea of like some looks that I wanna create and then I will style them later. So. Let's see here, I'm gonna go my computer and go do that. So that's like a good way to get inspiration. You can just put them together on a little board and that way you can kind of see all the looks in one place. And then what I like to do is go through and write a list of every single time of the day that I will need an outfit for. So starting with the airplane, I'll need an airplane outfit, uh, need to, pool day outfit when I arrive, an evening outfit for that night, and you can write out all your entire itinerary and all of the events that you're doing for when you would want an outfit change. And then you have a list of everything you need an outfit for, and you can go one by one by one and start to style all of your looks. Okay, taking a pause from packing to go get some sushi and draw off the dog. Did you finish your margarita? Mm. I'm uh, just gonna show you my outfit really quickly. I'm actually wearing a lot of my Walmart pieces because I legit really like them. This is a little Walmart Fruit of the Loom like bralette top. Uh, the jeans are men's Walmart and so is the belt. It's like a little butterfly belt. And then this little silk uh, shirt is from Zara. Just wearing it kind of open. And my chunky boots from Nasty Gal. So uh, that's the look for dinner and Still just have my same hair and makeup from earlier, obviously. So excited. We are sitting at the sushi bar and yum. I'm so, so excited for all the fish. Mm -mm -mm. Are you excited for sushi? Yeah, I'm just putting up, uh, I'm adding your story to my story. Oh. Yeah. Cute. All right. I'm really excited for fish. We got um, a little sake toro. You got a quail egg. I've never tried that. Quail egg. It comes with two, I think. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, so I'm going to try it. 
she recommended, she recommended that. Yeah. Um, and then we did, um, we didn't do any tuna, tuna belly, we did salmon belly. We did yellowfin tuna and we did um, albacore tuna. What do you think? So good. It was really good. It's all about we got the salmon. albacore tuna, yellowfin tuna, and salmon belly. Saki Toro. Oh, salmon belly is dang. Okay, let's try this one. It's not as flavorful as the salmon, but it's good. I think it's really flavorful, but it, it, a different flavor. Mm. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yum. Crispy rice cakes. You better keep eating fast. Oh my god, we got a lot of food in your face. We got a lot of food. Oh my god. Keep it coming. I think we got more than we needed. Okay, we finished the sushi, and <laughs> um, the best was the oh, the salmon belly. Saki Toro. Freaking amazing. It's probably really windy, so, so I won't bother you with this wind. We are at Starbucks. Starbucks, waiting for some drinks. We're a little bit tired, and we have to pack, so we need some caffeine. A little caffeine to wake her up, pick me up. Yep, and I got a small ice chai. I got three shots of espresso over yeah. ice. Learned that Which from you're, Manny. You're not gonna sleep. I'll sleep. I'll sleep. There's no one. You're gonna be like, oh, I slept really bad, or he falls asleep till 4 a.m. This blazer is a beige dream. I've been really wanting an oversized blazer. Yeah, I'm gonna try that on. Size 10. I have tall iced chai with almond milk. And then we. So nicely got interrupted by these really cute little girls that came to us. They're really cute. Okay, I'm finding so many cute blazers at H&M. Um, this one is a size six, so it's super oversized, but really cute nude, and it looks like perfect with this outfit right here. I'm obsessed. And um, also found a white one and this kind of more grayish nude so I'm getting all of them obviously but um, I'll try and link them below I just wanted to show you guys because I've been on the hunt for oversized blazers and haven't been able to find them so just wanted to let you guys know okay I wanted to show you guys all of the earrings here because I always get so many questions about my jewelry and I get most of my earrings at H&M so for example this pair I've also got these little guys the coins with these um, mini hoops attached they have somewhat pearls hanging down. I actually have this pair at home and there's just so many, like I literally get so many here and I just picked up a new pair. So just wanted to show you guys how many good options there are. And also on this side, there's more. They've got like this pack. This pack is awesome because you get a big pair and a small pair. They just have tons. So just come and like get tons of earrings at H&M. This is where I get most of them. And I always get questions, and they're really not that expensive. So I also have these ones. They're like a chunkier pair. And then these are really cute. A little shell attached to them, but anyways, just wanted to share that little tidbit. We just left the mall. I'm so hot, I had to take my shirt off. It's a su success. Success, and... Grabbed a few items. Grabbed a few items for the trip, and we're headed home now. We have to pack our full suitcases mm -hmm. and get up at like, 5 a.m. So I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but we gotta get to packing. So it'll be easy to pack. I'm not. I'm not taking that much. I know. Honestly, I mean, it no. will be easy, but I I have to style my looks, so that's gonna be stressful. It's gonna be hard as packing. It's gonna take me a few hours. Okay, we just got home, and Hunter is gonna do a little unboxing. Hold on a second. I just wanna put on one of my. Oh, that air conditioning is cold. Put on my new sweatshirt I got at H&M. I got a few blazers, as I showed you guys in the store. So I got this hoodie, and it's like a really nice nude mocha color, that's why I liked it. I got it in a size large. Oh, I like that. What? That this? Hoodie. Yeah, oh, so comfy. It's from the women's section, size large, so it's nice and oversized. Here, I'll show you in the mirror. And, yeah, oh. H&M has good comfies. Oh yeah, this is great. 
Oh, such a good color. This is exactly what I was wanting. I got this little guy at uh, H&M. It's like a carry-on size. Here, let me show you. It was on sale, and I just don't really like, I have a tote that I usually use for travel, my Louis Vuitton, but I don't know. I just wanted something kind of different, and this looks just like I can rough it up, and it's a little bit bigger, and it could fit a lot of stuff, so kind of like it. Let's see here. Yeah, so it's kind of nice like that, but you could also carry it and put it under the thingamajiggy, and it's lilac, so I thought that's kind of cute for summer. $15 on sale. So I gotta go get to planning outfits. And now I'm finally getting to styling my outfits. So I might style one outfit with you guys and then keep the rest a secret. So this is kind of how I do it. I have my picture up of like kind of one of my inspo looks, I guess you could say. And I really want to do a fun kind of sparkly moment for this first outfit. So I've got these mom jeans on, or not mom jeans, they're like a 90s style baggy or jean from Walmart, believe it or not. They're so cute. And I'm going to try and style them with this top that I got from Topshop. I think it's so, are you playing the guitar? What are you doing? Oh, I swear, such a procrastinator. I might need to change the color. Actually, I kind of like the black underneath it, but let's see. It's like a little cape. I think it's so cute. Let's put it on. I just feel like it's very Vegas. I feel like it would be really cute with jeans, but do I want to do a white top underneath it? Maybe white would be cuter. I definitely need a belt and then and some heels. So I'll move you guys down here so you can see a little bit better. Okay. I kind of want to pair these with my acrylic heels. So I'm gonna try this on. Definitely need a belt for these pants. I'm thinking this one would be kind of cute with it. Let's try it. Okay, I switched the bralette to white, so I want to see what that looks like. Okay, and now I need to go look at it in a mirror to see if this was what I was going for. So, oh, I actually really like this. Okay, this is super fun. I like it a lot. I definitely like the pink belt. I feel like that works with it. And the jeans are perfect, the shoes are good. Let's see from far away. And okay, I think this is outfit number one. I really like this. This is fun for Vegas, huh, Hunter? Don't I look like a showgirl? Woo! Um, this top, by the way, is from Topshop. So cute, I got it on Nordstrom.com. We'll link below, but I just thought it was like screaming Vegas, so I had to get it. But yeah, I think this is a really fun outfit. So outfit number one, done. That was really easy and usually it does not go <laughs> that easily but I feel like this top is pretty much like I knew in my head how it was gonna go down and it was successful okay I'm going to finish up styling the rest of my outfits and then I will be back with you guys when I start packing my suitcase and we will pack up and say goodnight together so I have planned all of my outfits out it's getting kind of late so I just put all my outfits up on a clothing rack and now I'm just packing them outfit by outfit away in this suitcase. So you can see lots of beads and fun stuff going on. Okay, I've got all of my swimsuits because we're gonna be doing a lot of laying out. There, I have this really cute pink snakeskin one from Windsor. Also the same style, but from Boohoo, this little leopard one, which I love. And a few more, which I will be photographing. So put those in there. Also want to bring my leather jacket for evenings to have to wear over dresses and stuff So I'm going to put that in there. I don't think I'm gonna wear it on the airplane I normally would but I have like a little sweatsuit that I think I want to wear so Okay, now I just need to go grab my pajamas and Then we'll move on to the other side which is gonna be accessories shoes makeup all that stuff in these little zipper pockets I'm gonna put 
underwear, socks, and bras. Okay, also picked up these really cute flip-flops from H&M earlier. They are like this nude pink with like tortoise little straps. So I'm gonna bring those for the pool. Also gonna bring one pair of heels. These are like my acrylic style heels. I feel like they're a one and done because they go with every single dress option that I brought and it's just like a one and done. Don't have to worry about it. I'm also gonna bring these sneakers. I just got these from Walmart the other day. I love them because they're beige. So I'm gonna bring those in hopes that I'm gonna work out. Fingers crossed, doubt that's gonna happen. I mean, it's Vegas, but you know, we can hope for the best. I actually have this little jelly bag that I like to bring to the pool and I just put all my sunglasses in it and then I'm gonna put my belts in there as well. It's kind of structured, so it works for accessories it holds them really well also got these really cute h&m hoops so i'm gonna put those in there okay you guys i am mostly packed for the most part no pun intended um but i'm going to finish up it is super late it's like midnight and we are off to vegas really early like we need to be up in five hours so i'm basically screwed but um thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the vegas vlogs coming next and i love you i'm done living life with the lights out